हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई एम डॉक्टर हिमांशु गुप्ता एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू रिवाइज लोअर लिम लोअर लिम सो लेट अस बिगिन आवर डिस्कशन सो व्हाट इज फिमोरल ट्रायंगल एंड व्हाट आर द बाउंड्रीज ऑफ फिमोरल ट्रायंगल बाउंड्रीज ऑफ फिमोरल ट्रायंगल इट इज बाउंडेड मीडियली बाय एडक्टर लॉन्गस मसल मीडियली बाय एडक्टर लॉन्गस मसल लेटली बाय सार्टोरियस मसल एंड सुपीरियरली बाय इंजॉनल लिगमेंट द फ्लोर ऑफ द फिमोरल ट्राइंगल इज फाउंड बाय इलियाकस एंड सोवास इलियाकस एंड सोवास वॉट आर द कंटेंट्स ऑफ द फिमोरल ट्राइंगल कंटेंट्स आर फिमोरल नर्व फिमोरल आर्टरी फिमोरल पेन फिमोरल कनाल what is femoral sheath and what are its components the femoral sheath has three compartments three compartments the lateral compartment the intermediate compartment and the medial compartment so what is the what is included in the lateral compartment what is included in medial compartment and intermediate compartment later compartment consists of femoral artery and genital femoral branch of genito femoral nerve intermediate has femoral vein medial has femoral ring femoral ring so this is how it looks laterally it is femoral artery then femoral vein and femoral ring friends you have to remember that femoral nerve does not is not enclosed within femoral sheath femoral nerve is not enclosed within femoral sheath in femoral ring friends you will find lymph node of cloicet or rosenmuller it drains glans penis and clitoris glans penis and clitoris okay now we will discuss muscles of the anterior compartment of thigh the muscles of the anterior compartment of thigh are sartorius rectus femoris rectus femoris vastus medialis vastus lateralis muscle artorius muscle medial part of pectineus muscle and iliaco psoas muscle so these are the muscles of the anterior compartment of the thigh you have to know their nerve supply muscles of the anterior compartment of the thigh are supplied by femoral nerve femoral nerve now we will study the femoral nerve in detail femoral nerve has a main trunk main trunk and it, it divides into an anterior division and posterior division from the main trunk arises two branches one to the iliacus and second to the pectineus in the pectineus it supplies the lateral part lateral part of pectineus then the anterior division gives one cutaneous nerve supply and one one cutaneous nerve supply and one uh, muscular nerve supply the cutaneous nerve supply is for intermediate nerve of thigh and medial cutaneous nerve of thigh and the muscular is by sartorius and from the posterior division it supplies vastus lateralis intermedialis and medialis and the cutaneous nerve supply is saphenous nerve saphenous nerve saphenous nerve is the cutaneous nerve supply of the medial side of leg and foot okay friends so now we will discuss the arterial supply of the 
एन पी वी पार्ट ऑफ था इट इज सप्लाइड मेनली बाय द फीमोरल आर्टरी फीमोरल आर्टरी फीमोरल आर्टरी हैज अ सुपरफिशियल पार्ट एंड अ डीप पार्ट सुपरफिशियल पार्ट इज बाय सुपरफिशियल आर्टरी हैज द फॉलोइंग ब्रांचेस यू हैव टू थिंक सुपरफिशियल एपिगेस्ट्रिक आर्टरी सुपरफिशियल एपिगेस्ट्रिक आर्टरी सुपरफिशियल सरकम्प्लेक्स इले कार्टरी सुपरफिशियल एक्सटर्नल पुडेंडल आर्टरी एंड डीप आर्टरीज आर डीप एक्सटर्नल पुडेंडल डीप एक्सटर्नल पुडेंडल मस्कुलर ब्रांचेस एंड प्रोफंडा फिमोरस ब्रांचेस एंड यू हैव टू नो द थ्री ब्रांचेस ऑफ द प्रोफंडा फिमोरस ऑल्सो थिंक द ब्रांचेज इन योर माइंड इट इज मीडियल सरकम्प्लेक्स फिमोरल लेटरल सरकम्प्लेक्स फिमोरल एंड परफोरेटिंग ब्रांचेस सो क्वेश्चन कैन कम लेटरल सरकम्प्लेक्स फिमोरल आर्टरी इज अ ब्रांच ऑफ इट इज प्रोफोंडा फिमोरस आर्टरी इट इज नॉट अ डायरेक्ट ब्रांच ऑफ फिमोरल आर्टरी ओके फ्रेंड्स so now we will discuss the muscles of the medial compartment of the thigh muscles of the medial compartment of thigh are pectineus and doctor brevis longus and doctor magnus and gracilius their nerve supply is mainly by the obturator nerve obturator nerve has two components anterior division and posterior division anterior division gives nerve supply to the adductor longus muscle adductor brevis muscle and medial part of pectineus muscle so pectineus has dual nerve supply one is from the femoral nerve and the second is from the obturator nerve posterior division is supplied by posterior division supplies adductor magnus obturator externus and a part of adductor brevis friends the action of the muscles of the medial compartment is basically adduction of the thigh adduction of the thigh except obturator externus muscle obturator external muscle causes lateral rotation of the thigh lateral rotation of the thigh lateral rotation of thigh now the muscles of the posterior compartment muscles of the posterior compartment are biceps femoris semi tendinosus semi membranosus and adductor magnus <coughs> these are supplied by sciatic nerve sciatic nerve sciatic nerve has two components tibial component and common peroneal component so these are basically supplied by the tibial component of the sciatic nerve common peroneal component further has a superficial and a deep superficial supplies muscles of the lateral compartment of leg lateral compartment of leg and deep supplies muscles of the anterior compartment of leg anterior compartment of leg so this was in brief about the muscles of the posterior compartment of the leg and their nerve supply now we will study adductor canal adductor canal adductor canal lies beneath the sartorius muscle it forms the medial boundary 
मीडियल बाउंड्री मीडियल बाउंड्री द एंटीरो सुपीरियर बाउंड्री और एंटीरियर बाउंड्री इज फाउंड बाय वास्टस मीडियालिस मसल वास्टस मीडियालिस मसल वास्टस मीडियालिस मसल एंड द पोस्टीरियर बाउंड्री इज फाउंड बाय एडक्टर लॉन्गस मसल एडक्टर लॉन्गस मसल फॉर्म द पोस्टीरियर बाउंड्री ऑफ द एडक्टर कनाल फ्रेंड्स यू हैव टू इमेजिन दैट इफ दिस इज इफ दिस इज द फीमर दिस इज द मीडियल पार्ट दिस इज द लेटरल पार्ट दिस इज एंटीरियर दिस इज पोस्टीरियर so this is vastus medialis this is adductor longus and this is sartorius muscle so sartorius muscle from the medial boundary the vastus medialis from the anterior and adductor longus forms the posterior posterior boundary of the adductor canal it is also known as hunter's canal hunter's canal and you have to know the components which form the adductor canal these are femoral artery femoral vein femoral artery and femoral vein and the nerves the nerves are saphenous nerve and nerve to vastus medialis saphenous nerve the nerve to vastus medialis now friends we will discuss the muscles of the gluteal region gluteal region has gluteus maximus muscle gluteus maximus muscle gluteus minimus muscle gluteus medium gluteus minimus muscle gluteus medius muscle then this is the piriformis muscle then obturator internus superior gemellus inferior gemellus quadratus femoris okay friends and now basically what is important is you have to know the nerve supply of the various muscle gluteus minimus and medius is supplied by superior gluteal nerve superior gluteal nerve and they cause medial rotation of thigh medial rotation of thigh superior gluteus maximus muscle is supplied by inferior gluteal nerve inferior gluteal nerve superior gemellus and obturator internus are supplied by nerve to obturator internus obturator internus and inferior gemellus and quadratus femoris are supplied by nerve to quadratus femoris quadratus femoris so these was and these about the muscles of the piriformis about the muscles of the gluteal region uh, you have to remember that piriformis is the keystone muscle here because you have to remember the structure that come above the sartorius muscle and the uh, muscle that uh the structure that pass above the piriformis muscle and the structures that pass beneath the piriformis muscle okay friends so now we will discuss the muscles of the leg muscles of the leg muscles of the anterior compartment of the leg are tibialis anterior 
external hallucis longus, external deuterium longus, and one muscle that we always answer wrong is peroneus tertius. Peroneus tertius is a muscle of anterior compartment of leg. Muscles of the posterior compartment of the leg are tibialis posterior, then flexor digitorum longus, flexor digitorum longus, flexor hallucis longus, and soleus and gastronemus. Soleus and gastronemus. Soleus and gastronemus form the muscles of the super superficial compartment and deep compartment has flexor digitorum longus, flexor hallucis longus, and tibialis posterior. Now basically you have to know the nerve supply and the arterial supply of the muscles of the various compartment. So the muscles Nerve supply of the posterior compartment is by tibial nerve. Nerve supply of the lateral compartment is by superficial peroneal nerve. And of the anterior compartment is by deep peroneal nerve. Deep peroneal nerve. And their arterial supply is by posterior tibial artery posterior tibial artery supplies muscles of the posterior compartment anterior is by anterior tibial artery anterior tibial artery and the lateral is by peroneal artery peroneal artery so you have to remember that anterior and posterior tibial artery are branches of popliteal artery popliteal artery and peroneal artery is a branch of posterior tibial artery this is a very important mcq peroneal artery is a branch of posterior tibial artery okay friends So at last I will discuss what is pes anthurinus. Pes anthurinus. The muscles which form the pes anthurinus are G S T. G stands for gracilis. S is for sartorius. And T is for semi tendinosus. Semi tendinosus. So these are the muscles which form pes anthurinus. So we have discussed at last. I will also discuss the cutaneous nerve supply of the foot. Cutaneous nerve supply of the foot. The lateral part of the foot is supplied by sural nerve. Sural nerve. It is a branch of tibial nerve. The medial part of the foot is supplied by saphenous nerve, which is a branch of femoral nerve. The first interweb space is supplied by deep peroneal nerve, deep peroneal nerve, and the remaining interweb space are supplied by peroneal nerves. Okay, friends. So this was in brief about the muscles of the lower limb. Hope you liked my video. If you like my video, do comment. in the comment section below thank you friends